Uh, Liel, just so you know, so Andre, who's sitting next to Esther, it says Esther, but it's Esther and Andre. Mm -hmm. uh, Andre is currently the president of our synagogue. Um, both he and Esther work very, very hard, as well as many, many other people, but they work particularly hard um, in all aspects of the synagogue. And, and uh, Steve is regular and Anastasia is regular. You'll meet all these people. You'll see all these people. So I'm really glad that we have this uh, opportunity to do this. Hopefully you'll oh, get to see wait. them in person. Here is Fanny, and Fanny is a past host um, and uh, been very, very involved in the program. And thank you for joining us, Fanny. Good to have you. Thank you. And, and, also, and also Stephen is a former host. Yes, I'm sorry. Yes, correct. Stephen and, and Ruth were, were hosts. Um, hello, Miriam. Miriam Maman. Hi, I'm so sorry to be late. My no, no, it's okay. My it's okay. are on their way in there at the airport, so I'm a little bit late with everything tonight. So uh, let me just uh, introduce. So Miriam is the director of Kolo Torah Mitzion, uh, which is located in Hebrew Academy, but really serves the whole community. And um, Kol Torah Mitzion also brings in Benot Sherut. Is that correct? That's correct. Their paperwork is tied up at the uh, in the consulate in Israel, but okay. we're hoping to have them in before before uh, Rosh Hashanah. But let me just mention, there has been a very nice um, relationship and overlap between the young people who come for Israel engagement and the young people who come for either the, the, the boys for Kolel or the girls for Benot Sherut. And there's been a very nice we do programs together, and, and there's been a very nice um, uh, getting to know each other and working together. So that, I'm, so Miriam, Miriam is really a very important partner here. Um, <laughs> Ethel, welcome. Good to have you with us. Thank you for joining. Hello. Hi. Very, very nice. Let's okay, wait maybe just you? one more minute, and then I think we should, uh, we should start. Um, Liel, I have to unfortunately jump to another call right now, but it's a pleasure to meet you. It's a wonderful show. I mean, I'm schlepping for an hour in the heat to this show, and that, that should tell you something. Oh. Um, wonderful community. It's a pleasure to, uh, to welcome you, and I will see you in person, hopefully again, before or after Rosh Hashanah. Fantastic. Thank you. Hope to see Fantastic. you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Fantastic. All right. Uh, I see Haskell is here. Welcome. Good to have you, Haskell. So um, I think uh, we should start. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Uh, welcome, everyone. It is a great pleasure to be able to see you and to have everyone together. And this is an opportunity for us to meet a remarkable young woman, Liel. You will hear from her very shortly, and you will get the chance to meet her in person, and she'll be with us this year. And we also have Adi. Many of us have met Adi before. She is the director of Israel Engagement Initiative. And so I'd like to start by asking uh, Adi uh, to speak for a couple of minutes. This is our fifth year participating in this program. It's been tremendously successful and enriching to our community. So I'd like Adi just to explain to us the what the program is, what the goals are. And also, Adi, maybe if you would just add, what does the word shin shin mean? And what does the word shin shinit mean? And what's the significance of that? And maybe you'll include that in, in, in what you say. Perfect. So I'll start off by saying thank you for um, making this beautiful night. And I'm so happy to see the faces on my screen, which it was very long time since I saw you in person, so hopefully I'll be able to see you soon. Um, and to say that you have a remarkable shinshinit, and you're very fortunate, and she is too, because it is a wonderful community. And I think uh, um, all the past shinshinim had gained so much from your community, and I'm sure that Liel will, will be having those experiences as well. So Shin Shin, the two letters Shin stands for in Hebrew, Shnat Sherut, a year of service. And it refers to young Israelis that graduated high school and deferring their army service in a year in order to do a volunteer work in anywhere, basically. 
So there are a lot of Israelis who are doing a shnat shirut, a year of service in Israel, either in education or agriculture, or to go to mechina to study. There are a lot of programs that are combined, both secular and uh, Orthodox youth, which is something very significant and very interesting. There are some uh, programs that combine between Arabs and Jews. Um, so there are a lot of things. And among all the Shnot Shirut program, there is the one that the Jewish agency is offering to go to, to volunteer to Jewish communities around the world. Um, this year, there are about 100, right? 150. 150 Shin Shinim worldwide. Um, two years ago, uh, when you had Talia, there were over 220 Shin Shinim worldwide. Uh, the decrease is due to COVID. There are many communities that either decreased the number of Shin Shinim, like Montreal, we used to have eight. This year we have six. And some communities were not able to bring back the program due to various um, reasons. One of them is that the, the, um, the institutes are not operating as they used to in the past um, or other reasons. Um, in Montreal, this program had started seven years ago. Um, some of you been hosted and played a significant role in this program. So the program started off seven years ago with two shlichim, Shani and Alon Dotan, uh, and four shinshiniot, four girls. And it was such a success. The girls were working in both schools and synagogues. And over the years, the, um, the, the program really became something big and known, and they, they uh, increased from four to six. And this was uh, for the first time that you were uh, working with Shachar. It was, he was your first Chin Chin. Um, he stayed with Fanny. And, um, and really the goal of the Chin Chin program as, as Israel engagement as a whole is to, connect, to create a personal connection between a young Israeli to the Jewish community around the world in our specific uh, example in Montreal to be a vivid um, relationship to different demographic, different age group. And by just playing their, themselves, uh, being the young people they are with their passions, with their knowledge, with their experience um, in this transition from uh, youth to an adult, to be able to create um, uh, meaningful programs and really to bring their personal stories to the Jewish community uh, here in Montreal. This year, we are very fortunate to have six individuals who will be working um, in six different schools in eight different synagogues after a year of sabbatical, which was um, very interesting uh, for all of us, but I think we were really able to see how this program was so meaningful, not just for, for us as a community, but also for the Shinshinim that served here. Um, throughout the year, we did a lot of programs with alumni, uh, mainly in the schools, but not just in the schools. And it really shows how the year that they um, stayed with host families, that they were working in different places had such a great impact on them. And even five years or six years later, they wanna be part, they wanna put that effort uh, in, their day, in their day. And we were able to pull out really, really nice programs. Uh, and I'm very happy that we are uh, now here, although virtually, but we are here and we have a cohort uh, of six Shinshinim that currently in uh, quarantine, although we are allowed to go out, but um, we are quarantining together and they will be starting working in the schools on Monday um, and in the synagogues um, after Yom Kippur. And in a nutshell, this is what we are. And the difference between Shin Shin and Shin Shinit is just to um, the, the female and the male version. So you have a Shin Shinit um, and you have a wonderful one. Thank you very much. Thanks, Adi. Yes, we do. So I've had the great pleasure, first of all, uh, Liel and I and Stu, who've been, the three of us have been instrumental really in, in, in planning this so far. And we'll be including many more people in this. 
but we've had the opportunity to meet Liel uh, several times on Zoom, and I had the great privilege to meet Liel in person. Um, and uh, I know that everyone is going to just adore her, and I think that she's going to be a very, very special addition to our community this year. So, uh, Liel, I want to turn it over to you first. I want to give you a chance to first introduce yourself, tell us a little bit about yourself, where are you from, what do you do, um, what is your life like, what what kind of person are you bringing to us here in Montreal? Okay, so first I would like to say thank you for the warm, warm words. Um, I'm very happy to be here today. Thank you, Stu and Rabbi Whitman for having me here. And I made a short presentation, presentation so I'm gonna share a screen. Okay, so just tell me if you see it, it's fine. Yes. Great. Okay, so my name is Liel Kandalker, and I am the ADAT 2021-2022 Shinshinit. Very excited to see you, um, to join in into your amazing family, and I would like you to get to know me a little bit, so let's start. So this is where, where I live, this is my hometown, this is Beersheba. I'm from Be'er Sheva, which is the twin city of Montreal. And Be'er Sheva is very special. It's very warm and very um, acceptable. I love living there. The only thing I miss is the beach, but this is an amazing place. And I live in the, in the desert. So I see lots of great things that you can see anywhere else that you can see here in Montreal. And, it's really an amazing place. And this, uh, the, this photo is really from my house. I'm, I'm living right really close to, um, to the Grand Canyon, to the Grand Mall and to my school. You can see here, but um, not sure you'll recognize. So I live very close. It's only five minutes walk, walk and I really love to live there. It's my house is really close to everything. So this is one, one of the things I'm grateful for my parents for choosing this house. <laughs> okay, so now. Okay, so this is my family. My family is the most important thing in my life. We're a very close family and very big family. I have lots of family that Sometimes I don't even know everyone, but it's so amazing because we have so many events and on a regular time, we have so many weddings and um, bar mitzvahs and bar, bat mitzvah. And it's an amazing thing that we can live across the country. And really I have family all around the country. And in, when we have an event, so we all gather together and we have this amazing tradition of um, my grandparents are from India. So we have, as a family, we have this tradition of doing Khina, which is a, an event, a pre-event of wedding. And we have an amazing dances that I would love to share with you um, in the future. And as you can see, I will, oh, sorry. <laughs> No, it's fine. I really love to travel all around the world. And it's a, it became such a big part of my life to explore cultures and cities and really to visit all around the world. And it connects to the next, um, the next thing, which is my hobbies, my passions. So as you can see here on the right photo, we're here in San Francisco. And we, we really love to travel as a family all around the world. It's my biggest passion. I would love to travel all around the world by the time I'll be, I'll be old. <laughs> and my, one of my hobbies is to work out. I really love to work out, to do yoga. And I would love to share it with you in the future also. Also, I'm really into baking. Um, I love to bake with my sister and I even took part on a program in Israel where 
we baked for um, elderly uh, community, which cannot uh, provide themselves. So we baked together and I took my car and we went to give it to them uh, each Friday. So it was really amazing. Um, so this is the sixth court of the Shinshinim. We are an amazing delegation, I think. Um, uh, so those are the Shinshiniot and those are all of us in a seminar that took part in Israel of the Jewish agency. And we are very close friends. We are a very close group and you'll see it. Um, each, one, each one of them are a close friend of mine and I'm so lucky to be here with them. So hopefully we will do things together um, and they will come to, to see you, to meet the Adas family. I would love to, if Corona will let us all. And I would like to say a few things about my goals here in Adat. So I would love to spotlight Israel from my point of view to give you a different side of Israel from my point of view as a teenager who lives in the desert, um, who has different subject that interesting me and things maybe that you doesn't that you don't know about. I would like to share my story with you, my Israeli story with you, um, of where I live, what I like to do, what my passions are. And I would really love to learn from you because I came here. And as I said before, I love to explore new cultures. And here in Canada, I never thought I would be in Canada and here I am. And it's amazing. And I can't wait to learn from you and to see your culture, to see how Jewish people in Canada lives, in Montreal lives, which is absolutely different from my experience in Israel. So I would love to experience that and can't wait to see you and to become a part of the Adat family. It's really exciting. And thank you so much for having me. So this is my presentation for now. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Wow. Beautiful. So I have a couple of questions to ask you and then um, uh, and then we'll open up and see if other people have questions. But my first question is, somebody told me this, and I just want to see if it's actually true. Somebody told me that you actually take a camel every day to school. Is that true? Well, of course it's true. <laughs> Rabbi Whitman, I told you that. This is, this is how I go to school. I showed you my school. I don't know if you, say, if you saw it, but I took my camel. I park it. <laughs> it's a nice adventure. <laughs> okay. All right. I, I, I think it's a, a little bit more high tech than that. But um, uh, on a, a more serious note, can you tell us a little bit? First of all, you mentioned uh, China yes. ceremony before wedding. Is that, is that what we refer to as a henna? Yes. That's yes. it? Okay. So I, I'm uh, familiar with that. And, and I think um, that's quite popular within the Moroccan community here in Montreal. So I, I so, so we know what that is. Um, what preparation did you and the others do in Israel in order to be able to come on this program? So we had a year and a half almost of preparation since the first um, sign in, when I was in 11th grade. And until Two weeks before we came, we had a, we had a four day seminar in Israel of all the shinshins that are going to do shnachel. So one hundred and fifty shinshins, and it was amazing. I love the frontal seminar. We had seminars. We had two seminars. One in one in April on April, and the one on July, and it was amazing. We we learned about the Jewish communities and we had lots of seminars on Zoom. We had um, with Adi and the Jewish agency teachers and we learned a lot about how it's gonna be, but it's not actually how it is when I 
came here and of course it really helped but coming here it was so different and right now we're really starting to learn so this is right now this is the real learn okay um so i i just want to mention the um you told me when we met uh you told me that the day before we met it was so cold you could not believe how cold it was the day before we met i think it was maybe about 25 uh, <laughs> that day okay so but my question is what did you know about montreal before you came and what have you learned so far that has been the most interesting to you about Montreal since you've come? Okay, so when I was, I think, 15, I hosted two girls from Montreal from YCC camp. They had like a delegation to Israel. So I hosted them for one week. And this was my, the first time that I ever interact with Montreal in any way. So it was amazing. And we're still in touch and I'm going to see them um, very soon. And it really opened me to Montreal and to the community. So about the community, I heard from them. They were amazing and we're still friends. And I heard a lot about Montreal from the, uh, from the other Shinshins that were here and from people that lives here that... Uh, somehow my parents knew and then uh, a lot of people and of course we heard we're gonna be so cold here so <laughs> yeah I, I don't know what I'm gonna do but you're gonna help me so yes we the, will. the day we met so the day before yeah it was cold for us but yesterday it was so hot here like we we went to explore the city a little bit and it was very hot so it's not like it, it's like I'm used to. So for me, it was it was regular, but I think for you, it's not that. So I can't wait for for the winter. I I know I it's weird, but I really can't wait for it because it's I never saw something like that. I we don't have it in Israel. So and coming here to see that Montreal is very like diverged, yeah. diverged. Diverse, uh -huh. You have so many people from across the world. So it's it really like Israel that you can see so many cultures in one country. So here it's in one city. So I think it will be amazing for me. And I can't wait to start the year and to explore more. And from what I saw until now, Montreal is a very beautiful city. And I would love to uh, travel more and to explore the city more. Good. Um, for I, 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 I'm sure everyone notices First of all, the excellent English skills that uh, Liel has, which is going to be a very big plus. Uh, everyone will be able to understand you and and communicate well. So that's that's something that is uh, that's a very big plus. What are some of the programs that you hope to do uh, during your time here? So first of all, I think it's really important for me to bring you uh, Israeli updates and to share like. Um, the Israeli updates and what's happening in Israel right now from my point of view. So I would love to do that. I would really love to work with the kids. This is something I really love to do. This is why I came to Shnatshavut, one of the reasons. And I would love to have programs with the kids, like craft ideas and a lot of ideas that come into my mind as we speak even. Also, I would love I, I heard from you, Rabbi Whitman, that you had a special um, Burekas night right. and it was a big success. So I would love to have these subject nights, um, such as baking nights that I really love to bake or movie nights. And I'm sure I'll come up with amazing ideas and I can't wait to meet you. And once we get to know each other, I would learn about your um the, the things that interest you and the thing that interest me. And we will come up with um, projects that will serve us both. So I can't wait to, to see you and to talk to you. And then it will be amazing for me to think about some other great stuff. Great, great. I have one more question and then I wanna turn it over to others. So if anyone wants to think about their questions or 
comments for, for Liel. But the last thing I wanted to ask is, um, obviously this program has to do with creating connections and bridges between us here in Montreal and Israel, Israeli society. Um, what, and there's so many, so many bridges and there's so many connections. What do you think your ability will be in what way to connect us to Israel? What part of Israel do you think you'll connect us to? So as I, as I said before, I live in the desert and you don't see desert everywhere. Like, I don't think you have desert in Canada. Am I wrong? No. So no. Um, it's really special to live in Be'er Sheva. It has a lot of uh, advantage and also a lot of disadvantage as I live close to Gaza maybe. So I grew up in a very special reality. So I would love to share this side with you to share about um, my childhood, what I'm interested in it. And I think it will be different for you because everyone has a different, um, different subject that they like. Uh, I'm sure the other Shinshinim were different than me. So everyone is really different. And each one that we get to know it, I think for me also, every person that I get to know, it's a new learning and it's something different and something new. So I think bringing me and for you to see how I live from my point of view as an Israeli, as a teenager, as a girl that lives in the in Be'er Sheva, it will be it will be new and interesting. Hopefully, that's great. We'll that's great. I, I I have to tell you, I'm I'm so um, um, excited to hear that answer. I, I have a particular connection uh, to the desert and to the Negev and um, the beauty that is in the Negev is is so as you said. It's so different than anything we have experienced here. And it is a very unique uh, beauty. And it's something that I've tried to share. And, and now we're going to have someone that really can, can share much, much better. So uh, it is fantastic, fantastic. So um, if anyone else has questions or comments, maybe yeah, just raise your hand and just unmute yourself. And uh, um, yes, yes, Andre, please unmute yourself. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Um, beautiful presentation and welcome to the ADAT. I look forward to, um, I'm sure I'm talking on behalf of everybody when I say this. Um, I just have two small questions. Um, uh, your parents, are they born in, um, in Israel or are they from outside of Israel? Is there any Sephardic or French background? And then the other question I wanted to ask is um, the Shin Shinit program, is that part of the Israeli army two or three year program, or is it an additional year on top of the three year program? That's my questions. So thank you for asking that. My parents both uh, born, was born in, were born in Israel and grew up in Israel, but uh, my dad grandparents, they were born in India and my mom grandparents yeah. were born in Morocco. So my, grand, my grandpa knows uh, French and he was very excited to hear that I'm coming here because he was sure that I'm gonna learn French. So hopefully I'll do it. Um, so he loved, he loved the French culture and everything. And your other question is about the Shinshinim program and the army. So it's not part of the army. I'm doing a year, a gap year. I took a gap year and I'm doing a year of service here in Montreal. And then I'm coming back to Israel and I'm joining the army. And I actually, I got an, an email today that says that I got the job that I wanted in the army. So I'm gonna be a simulator guide for the um, uh, Air Force. So I'm very excited today. Um, and that's it. Yeah, I'm going to do three years of service after I'm going to come back to Israel. Beautiful. Who else?
Yes, Miriam, please. I just want to say, Liel, you have a magnificent, beautiful, sunny smile, and you. uh, you're joining a beautiful community with the Adath, and I wish you Hatzlacha Rabba. Thank you so much. I'm very happy to be here to see you all. Who else? And actually, um, some, um, uh, some of the parents of younger children are here. David in particular has uh, two beautiful young children. Um, Fanny and, uh, and Jack have a uh, little older children. Um, some of us have very old children. Steve has a teenage daughter. Um, the Zoldans are a bit older. So we have all ages and, um, and uh, I know they're going to love working together with you. I can't wait. I can't wait to meet everyone, you know, all Good. the ages, and have so many things planned on my mind. So, Good. yes, Steve. Amazing. Yeah, what uh, school are you going to be with? Um, I'm going to be in, uh, working in Maimonide in two campus, so in Cot St. Luke and Bin Salmolen. So, hopefully, I will learn some. Some friends for my grandparents, for my grandpa. Right. So Talia, who stayed with us, also was at both campuses. Yes, I actually talked to her today. So she's she's an amazing person. Yeah, she is. She's a great person. Yes. My wife actually met uh, two years ago. My wife, when she we have two daughters in Israel, one is in Be'er Sheva. So uh, my wife met uh, Talia's parents and Talia's sister and Talia's brother. So. Oh, amazing. Yeah, yeah. So you visited, you visited in Beersheba? Yeah. Yeah. Many times. And did you like it? Very much. Yeah, it's an amazing city. I really love it. Which part in Beersheba are you in? Do you live in? Um, I'm living in Shkunatet, Okay. if you know. It's it, it's close to the Grand Mall, to the Grand Canyon, the big the biggest mall. So that's where our daughter lives in that neighborhood. Really? Yeah. yeah. Great. It's a it's a great neighborhood. It has everything. It's close to everything. Thank you. Very good. Okay. Anything else? We want to welcome you, Liel. We're very happy to have you. All the other Shin Shinim who've been with us, we've really held very dearly and they've all made their own special relationships with the shul. Um, I guess I'm wondering how, how far are you from the Adath? Where are you staying uh, during the first six months and how far is that? So I'm gonna stay in Kot St. Luke for the whole year. So it, it's close, it's pretty close. It's, it will be fine for me. Um, so, yeah, Kotzi Luke is pretty big, but you have lots of, you know, the Hertzes live in Kotzi Luke, so you'll have lots of, you know, company in terms of coming over to the Adat. Oh, yeah. great. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure where specific in Kotzi Luke, but I'll tell you, and I'll tell you when I know. <laughs> Wonderful. I'll invite you to join her for a walk on one of our minus 20 winter days. I was when it's 20, you just have to bundle up and walk faster and you're fine. <laughs> no, don't, don't be so sure. <laughs> well, wonderful. Well, we, we won't get to see you until after the Chagim. So we want to wish you a Shana Tova and a really great start to the new year. Thank you. Uh, I want to wish you too all and Shana Tova. And I can't wait for us to start the year. And we're gonna be, we're gonna have an amazing year, I'm sure. May, may yeah. I ask another question? Sure, sure. Steve. So uh, Liel, your brothers and sisters and how old and what do they do? Yes, so I have, I, I'm the oldest in my family. I have one sister that uh, she is 15 years old and another brother and he is 11 years old. So they're currently in in school, my sister is in high school and my brother is in, a, in elementary school. Yeah. You said you, you have grandparents, right? Um, so right now I have only grandfather, but okay. he's amazing, I love him. We're very close. We speak almost every day. 
Good. And he's in Beersheba too? Yes, he's in Beersheba. He right now I'm not home, so he's gonna stay a lot in my room. He loves it. Very nice. Yeah. We look forward to meeting you. Looking for it too. I'm so excited, really. Liel, I just wanted to say you have a beautiful smile. We're thrilled that you are joining our congregation. And I wanted to say bienvenue à Montréal. Et j'espère que tu vas avoir beaucoup de plaisir à travailler avec nous. Well, thank you. You're welcome. And my wife is signing up for coffee. say it again in the future and I'll understand. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> Yeah. And if you want complimentary French lessons, my wife is signing up. No. <laughs> I will, I would love to. <laughs> You'll teach me. You'll teach you know, me. Esther actually runs a really cool book club once a month. Oh, really? I, actually, I really love to read, actually. I haven't done this for a while, so maybe you'll give me some recommendation. I would love to. With pleasure. Yes. <laughs> Great. Beautiful. Okay. Thank you all so much. Thank you everyone for joining. Uh, thank you, Adi. I know Adi is off to the side there, but uh, thank you, Adi. Uh, Adi uh, oversees this entire program and uh, she not only coordinates with all the schools and the synagogues, but also um, um, is the, is the go-to person for all of these young people. And she makes sure they're taken care of in every single way. Uh, it's a tremendous responsibility, and she does a great job. And we're very grateful to you, Adi, for the connections that we've made with ADAF and uh, Israel Engagement, and we look forward to it. And Liel, uh, as I've told people before, uh, we're going to have we have a great person, and we're going to have a great year together. So, wish you all a Shana Tava. Have a wonderful holiday season, and we just can't wait to get started in person. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me and for coming to hear me. Um, thank you. Pray and thank you, everyone, for joining tonight. And um, I wish everyone Shana Tova and look forward to seeing you, hopefully in person. And if it's not in person, we'll have some other way, but, uh, but we look forward to it. Shana Tova. Good night, everybody. Thank you very, very much. Shana Tova.